welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nassin. I am 37. I've been keto for around a year and a half. I've lost almost 90 pounds. I have four beautiful kids, a floofy fluffy husky, two kitty kitties, and I love the clicky clickies. That is a thumbs up and it helps my channel grow and helps me get out into that YouTube universe and meet you guys. So please leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you guys ate today. Something. I like conversing. Conversing. I like conversing in the comment section. Today is Thursday. It is the first day that my children are doing their Zoom meetings with their classrooms. I went and picked up their packets for school. So we finally have a school plan going on here at home. Um, one of the laptop chargers came. So Reese's laptop is the Zoom headquarters, so to speak. Tiffany did her Zoom call this morning with her teachers, and Corey is a senior and graduating, so he does not have to do that. So I had thoughts and they went away. What I did, I woke up, I got ready, I went and did that. It is 12 o'clock. I've not eaten or drank anything actually, and I'm pretty thirsty. I am thinking about making another smoothie. I'm not sure 100% yet what I want to do. Yesterday I received my Teamy wellness protein and this is very chocolatey. Very, very chocolatey. Now I kind of went over it. I didn't necessarily read all the ingredients. I will say it does have pea protein in it which is odd to me because I thought maybe I hated pea protein. I guess I don't hate pea protein. So I don't know why I hate 310 because everybody says, well, maybe it's the pea protein, but this has pea protein in it and I like this. So I'm a little confused. Anyways, there is some maltodextrin in here. It is down towards the end of the ingredients list and it is mostly sweetened with stevia. So four total carbs, two fiber, so it's two net carbs. It is a nice pack of protein, 17 grams, and 2.5 grams of fat. So this, this is very chocolatey. It's very sweet, actually. I wouldn't even say you need the entire scoopful, in my opinion. It was almost too sweet. So I will be using that again, and I will be uh, mixing that in. I don't know if I wanna mix that in a coffee. I think I, I'm not sure. I think I want to, cause you can put it into smoothies. Um, you can use it for baking. You can use it for so many different things and even just like water or almond milk. I think I wanna try to put some in my coffee and see how that tastes. Um, but yeah, it's really good, you guys. I do like how it tastes, this bigger cup for my teas. Much bigger, fit more tea, fit all the tea. I like it because the other one is a 400. This is a 600. So I don't know what I'm going to be eating, but I'll show you when I decide what I want to eat. I will show you the carrot cake, cheesecake bites that I made yesterday. I put them in the freezer instead. I need to now bag them up. Here they are. They're definitely not as pretty as um, the original poster, but they're tasty. See, they're frozen now, and I had one last night, and they're delicious. All right, so I am going to make Corey and I some of that Delgado coffee, and we're gonna try, we're gonna do it a little bit different. We're gonna try to flavor it some. So I have this one on one flavor concentrate, flavor concentrate, and this is cinnamon crunch cereal, so like a cinnamon toast crunch. So since I'm making two, um, I think I did, the last time I did three tablespoons, we're gonna need hot water, so it was like three tablespoons hot water, and we're doing two, so we're gonna do six. Or you know what, we'll do one at a time, just so it works better. So we got, oh, does this go in all the way? Yeah, okay. So we got three tablespoons of hot water. We're just gonna do whatever. We're just gonna do it the way we do it. Three tablespoons of your instant coffee. This is trial and error. It'll work out. Huh? So it'll work out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's the serving of this. And then if I remember correctly, last time I didn't think it was sweet enough. One, two, three, three. Almond milk 
has ice in it. Because it sat in the back too long. There you go, Corey. It tastes like almond milk right now. <laughs> Mix it a little bit. There you have it, folks. It is good. Oh my God, there's noodles everywhere. <laughs> Link. I try. I don't know what happened. I'm trying to make the kids noodles and myself some spaghetti squash, and I spilled Link. noodles everywhere. What is this? <clears throat> So here's my uh, sauce for the spaghetti squash. The spaghetti squash is gonna be in the oven for about 40 minutes, but I got the sauce done because I made the noodles for the kids. So they'll have the noodles with the sauce and then I'll just use the sauce on my spaghetti squash. <sighs> Homeschooling is hard. <laughs> I wouldn't even say that I'm a homeschooler, like I'm not, but now that my kids are doing homeschooling and they have like these packets, it's hard like i sat down with tiffany trying to figure out how to do seventh grade math and it's difficult um i could figure out reason Peyton's, their fifth grade but the seventh grade it's like yeah geez this stuff is complicated and i mean we got through it but it made me want to rip all my hair out but at least we passed the first day the first milestone so we'll see what tomorrow brings she did her reading she did her math they have to they have like weeks and i'm not gonna make them do the whole week in one day although she wanted to um they need time to get used to this you know so um i don't know i'm a little bit hungry like sickly hungry it's six o'clock and i've not eaten anything today which is very weird i had that coffee and i was like overly caffeinated you know with the jitters and everything so I'm gonna maybe just like snack on some cheese while I wait for this just so my stomach has something in it other than caffeine. And um, I'll show you when I make my plate. I really want a salad. I really wish I had some romaine. Ooh. All right guys, this is my OMAD. Weird to say because I've not done an OMAD in forever. It's 6.40 and this is my first and only meal of the day. I did have one baby bell cheese and I did have about four pieces, four pieces. I did have about four pork rinds and a couple of scoops of my guacamole. But other than that, just this. And I am currently drinking this Gold Peak Tea Unsweetened. So I'm going to enjoy my meal all right guys so spaghetti squash simple easy to me it tastes like spaghetti i absolutely love it if you haven't tried it highly recommend it's really easy cut your squash in half hollow it out like you would if you were carving a pumpkin i didn't have any oil to put on it but you can put some avocado oil or olive oil on it and season it and then flip them open side up down on your cookie sheet and bake them for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes at like 425 degrees. Then you just take them out of the oven and just scrape it with a fork and it just, it looks like spaghetti. Hollowed out one that I just, I just simply just went like this. And as you can see, that's why it's called spaghetti squash. Looks like spaghetti. I still have this whole half. I didn't even, I mean, it's just a sticker, but can you throw that away? I still have this whole half. That's what it'll look like. And you just, you see how it just, so easy and pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's vlog. If I eat anything else or anything else happens, of course I will let you guys know. But until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow, Friday. I hope you guys have an amazing Thursday and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>